All right, everybody. So today we are going to be cutting up some beautiful golden tiger's eye. So golden tiger's eye, as you can see, sort of, can you see? This is technically it's yellow tiger's eye, but another word for it is golden. This is the most, I'm going to say the most common there's regular tiger's eye as well, tiger's iron, which is very similar to this, but it has some bands of red jasper that also run through it. So this one is, I would say the most common. And it, it comes like this, all the pieces are like already kind of like little slices of cake like this. And then we're gonna slice these up kind of coming down. I mean, the thing is, no matter where I'm going to cut them, they're going to look awesome. But to get all that popped out, I mean, the other thing is just by looking at this, I'm, I picked a piece where you could kind of see the colors popping out of it and kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like. But a lot of these pieces, you just see this. I mean, if you're walking and you kind of saw this land on the ground, you'd walk right past it. It's, that's the cool part I like of cutting uh, rocks and crystals and stuff. And you just never know what's inside. And the beauty is on the inside. So there's also blue tiger's eye. It's like a blue sheen to it. That might be my favorite. There's black tiger's eye. And then there's red tiger's eye. And I believe there's a green tiger's eye, which you don't see very frequently. Same with the black tiger's eye. You don't see a ton of that either. Red, I really like red, but the most common is definitely the yellow tiger's eye or golden tiger's eye. So we're gonna see a lot of that gold color just pop out of this. And I'm excited. Let's get to it and I'll see you guys at the saw. Over at the saw and here is the material we're working with. And it's pretty thick. So this should give us a nice, beautiful finish and face. I mean, I'm gonna try to cut these down this way so you get long pieces. And I think that will maximize all the material I'm using. And hopefully it'll come out great. So let's see how this goes. Let's fire up the saw here. Whoop. And I'm going to also try to use the guide and you can't really see from the angle I'm at, but it's about a quarter of an inch between the blade and the guide. So I'm gonna try to just kinda use the guide and hold it along and get a nice long piece that way, which is relatively thin. shut it down here quick and see what we got oh that is beautiful stuff wow look at the shine already just awesome looking wow and I went a little thin on that but that's a nice thin piece of tiger's eye 
just great color and flash in that. And you could see the yellow. I mean, it's called yellow, yellow tiger's eye or golden tiger's eye. So that came out even better than expected. And here's the other big piece. Wow. Now I will say this was a little tough of a cut and anything called tiger's iron yeah I would uh, I wouldn't doubt it it sounds pretty tough so this is definitely very hard material beautiful color in that though so all right I'm gonna keep slicing some nice long strips out of this I'm not going to do this with every piece or I'll be here forever, but some of these other ones I'm going to try to slice. Well, this is a bad example. This one I could easily slice this way, but some of them I'm just going to cut right in half and make um, thicker slices going this way. So those should be pretty cool too. So, But again, look at that. That is great. That is great. I love it. Let's keep going. Let's check these out. Wow. Is that golden tiger's eye or is that golden tiger's eye? Look at the layers and all that. I mean, it already looks awesome just coming off the saw. When these are all polished up, whew, these are just absolutely awesome. They're like the golden rays of the sun mixed in there, just blasting. Very cool. Let's keep going. We have quite a bit more. I mean, just this one piece, I could probably get eh, four or five slices out. And it is a little time consuming. <laughs> so let's keep rolling. And there's some burn marks on it. This will get all cleaned up on the polisher. Man, is this going to be shiny. Really, really awesome material. I mean, you would never think. Look at this piece. If you saw this lying on the ground, you would pass right by it. And then you flip it over. Look at that. Just amazing. And then in the sun, too. Imagine this in the sunlight. Beautiful. So check out this piece. This is really thin. I'm talking half an inch, maybe less. So this one is going to be a little tricky because even if I make slices, I don't want to make them too thin because of how thick the material is or lack thereof. So I'm going to just cut these a little thicker. That's all. Maybe even a half or in thirds but this one in terms of tiger's eye you're looking for that thick material so you get a nice wide slice but let's see if we could still make this look pretty cool
Well, let's see how it came out. I think, I don't know if that's actually material or if that's gonna come off in the polisher. I think that's actually part of the surface material. So not the greatest, not gonna lie, but still pretty cool. And this guy, I think I'm gonna make like a, almost like a cube out of this one. Kind of cut it right in half this way. That might look pretty cool once it's all polished up. Something a little different. All right. Slice this sucker in half. from the saw but this is going to polish up and be pretty pretty awesome so the cube thing we will see there's some interesting patterns and stuff in these that's for sure this will be cool to see how this all comes out but these little nodules this one is actually polished two sides so that one I think is my favorite so far. Let's keep on cutting. I'm gonna slice this one right down long ways. So this one came out pretty awesome. Nice long piece, double sided. Definitely the uh, the best so far. This was a little tricky to cut on this uh, trim saw though. Honestly, I think I might need a slab saw to really do some of these bigger pieces, but I made it, finally made it. Awesome, beautiful looking material though. Gotta love it. One more to go. So real quick, I just wanted to show everybody. So my workspace here, I never really showed anybody and I'm more excited to show you the wall because it's got some crazy stuff going on there. And that's me, I'm pretty crazy. So we have all these huge towers um, going all the way across. Some of them are massive. And I do have to clean them pretty frequently because of the rock dust. But I wanted to show you some of the cool stuff I have on my wall. So this guy, I actually bought from an artist on Etsy. I'd have to look up who he is, but he has some pretty crazy wood carvings. I love wood carvings. I have some copper splashes on both sides. And of course, I'm sure you've seen in the videos, I have some bats on the wall, which are actual bats. This is another artist from Etsy that I got a long time ago and can't remember exactly who that is, but it's another awesome one. Here is the other carving. It's a monster carving, which I accident. I love this carving. Love this carving. I mean, 
this guy made both of these. So very cool. And then I have Indian carvings. So like the Indian with the eagle face, eagle on the head, pretty awesome. This one is a painted version. I mean, look at the intricacy. That is just outstanding craftsmanship. Another huge wood spirit carving from the same artist. And then I have an Aztec starfish on the wall and a huge bison skull. And that's also got crystals all around them. And this is just one little tiny area, but still, I love it. And I have a over to the left a axe head from a authentic Viking axe. And then the handle obviously is a redone to fit the era, but it's pretty awesome. And that's my huge bison skull, which is, I hope that never comes crashing down because that thing would, I mean, it is massive. Look at it compared to the saw. I mean, that thing is huge. So I'll have to keep you guys, uh, I'll have to show you some more stuff I have at some point, but just wanted to give you a quick shot of the wall of the workspace where we're doing all the uh making all the magic happen here and it is time to get our golden tiger's eye polished up so we're going to hit it with this grip and there are quite a few pieces here about a dozen so i'm going to power through these and then we're going to move on to the next grip and keep it going. And I think these are gonna come out really, really nice once I get that whole first layer off. And that's the most important part with the this grip, with this diamond wheel, just to get that entire surface off from head to toe. So let's begin. So we are very close to being done. I'm actually on the last piece, which is a pretty good size one. And have to, a little more polishing on this side, but this material is awesome. Look at this beautiful shine on it. So this next part, I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna move on to the next grit and keep on polishing. This one has a lot of saw marks. All right, I think we're good. So now we're all polished up. Let's move it on to the next wheel and keep on making this more and more beautiful, if that's possible. There's like a thick, sludge. I don't know if you can see this that comes out of this. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of see that's the color of the rock on the top, but a lot of muddy material coming out of this. We are going to keep on polishing and polishing. And some of these like smaller pieces came out really cool. Look at the pattern on some of these guys. Awesome looking. So I'm gonna keep going. We have a whole pile and then on to the next grit and then it'll be time to show them off under the lights. We are officially on the last grit. So we are gonna finish these up. Look at the just golden color in this. I mean, that is golden. Wow, 
awesome looking. So we're gonna finish up this batch and then get these under the lights and show them all off. And they are coming along really good. Let's keep going. So we're all done with our tiger's eye and you guys tell me, what do you think? I'm thinking it came out pretty darn awesome. Look at those golden rays. It's like just golden rays of sunshine blasting through this. It is beautiful. And that's exactly what you're looking for with golden tiger's eye. And some of these pieces, thin slices, I couldn't be happier. Like this guy here, very thin piece, but look at the color and the bands and just, it is perfect. So Tiger's Eye, I will tell you a little bit. I don't think I've ever made a metaphysical property video on Tiger's Eye as of yet, but Tiger's Eye is like, and I've said it a bunch of times already, it's golden sunshine. And I also, it's like the, the sun and the earth connecting in one, in a specimen. That's what I see when I look at Tiger's Eye. And it's a very grounding, but yet uplifting stone. It has a very nice, consistent energy with it when you're meditating. And it also is used for warding off any type of negative energies. Um, I believe the it was the Romans. I think it was the Romans that used this to ward off like evil spirits and that type of thing. So... And look at this one. This one, you could even see like the rough on the back, how that translates to that when it's polished. Very cool. So I do. I think these come out really awesome. And yeah, good good energy on, on Tiger's Eye. Um, it's, a, it's a good grounder, but it's also uplifting. Um, courage, mental stability, mental vitality great to work with. I'll definitely have to do a video to really delve into all the different metaphysical properties on this, but I think this batch came out pretty good. Some of these little guys, like <clears throat> these little ones are kind of like my favorite, just they're all the cool little patterns and all the stuff that popped out of them. It wasn't too hard to cut and pretty easy to polish overall, but Honestly, I think these come out pretty good. So I'm going to be putting a good amount of these on Etsy. So look out for them in the shop. If you go to uh, CourtdaleCrossings.com, that'll take you right to my Etsy shop. And that's about it. I think this came out pretty good. And uh, we'll uh, see what we could create next time around. And... Hopefully one of these times I'll get some, I'm going to get my hands on some red tiger's eye and that one is super beautiful as well. So look forward to making some cool stuff with red tiger's eye and some blue as well. So hopefully that'll be coming up soon and you could check these out on my shop if interested. All right, guys, I will see you next time around.